What is happening guys? Welcome back to the Lunar Dark Nuzlocke. So last episode we added some pretty cool new boys to the team. We got this here Husky Pupper, uh, our buddy Ghost, and we also have Biggles. Uh, I took the EXP share off of Biggles because I think we should probably train up Ghost a little bit. Um, we are about to head into some caves apparently and there should be some ground types in there that we can just ice shard to death. Um, I'm assuming we probably learn like Ice Fang or something eventually, but this thing doesn't have the best defenses. I do got to be careful with Ghost because I don't want to kill that thing because I love you with all of my heart. Looking down steadily. Good. Nice. All right. Um, so I did actually buy some super repels, which I think we should probably use here in the desert. So we're just heading back this way. The uh, gym leader is apparently hanging out in some caves. And also that one dude from the Poke Center, he had the quest for us to find some kid in there. So... We're going to do our best to find that little lad, as I'm going to spray a repel. We should probably be training up uh, in the wild, honestly. Our husky buddy could probably use some of that experience, but we got to figure out where the hell the caves are. Um, we got the doctor guy right there, so it's actually not a bad place to train. You can just heal up. Oh, okay, actually, we have not battled you yet, so it looks like I went right in the right direction. Uh, I don't know how the hell I missed this before, but young Jeffrey over here has got two Pokemon. He has a Sandster. And it's level 20, so I don't know if this thing's going to be too crazy, but we'll see how much an Ice Shard does. I don't know what moves this thing's going to throw at me, but Ice Shard's an easy two-hit KO, so Geosphere. The hell? Oh my god, okay, that does that does a lot, and the Sandstorm actually hurts us as well. So we'll go for one more Ice Shard just to knock you out, but damn it, Ghost, you're so frail, buddy. We really got to really gotta beef you up a bit. It does get that Moxie boost, which is nice, but I mean, we're already kind of hurting here what do you got next next is gonna be a rap pro have we seen a free other oh, rap that's the uh that's the damn mummy thing let's actually switch out of here let's go into our snake friend who's kind of been neglected because of all the damn ground types but i think we should be a good against the rap pro here let's um lightning strike are you ground type no you're not so well, that'll hurt you does knock you out with a critical hit take that you ugly mummy bastard we're gonna grow to level 26 here this thing's still just it kind of lags when they faint, which is weird. But we got a level 26, looking nice. He's speechless. That's right, buddy. And we already took a lot of damage on our little friend there. So I guess it's kind of worth going for a lemonade to probably overkill using... I mean, actually, no. The, the freaking guy that heals us is actually right here. You know what? We're just going to use your free health care. How did I already forget that this guy's hanging out here? Come whenever you want. Thank you, sir. And, uh, man, this... This husky is just so frail. It's probably not the best for Nuzlocke, but you know we're gonna we're gonna do our best to raise this little buddy as our own. Okay, so yeah, we actually did get the ability to use strength last time, so we got some strength gloves, and now we can just go ahead and for some reason gloves allow us to push a boulder, so that's cool. We can go ahead and use those, and now we have the cave. So there is actually an item right here. It's an escape rope. Nice. Something tells me we might need to use that later, but let's head into the cave and see what's going on. Um, so this is actually just the same area. There's nothing new here, so we can't catch a wild Pokemon, which is unfortunate. But can I even push? I can't push this that way, right? Slate strength gloves helped us out, although... Okay, wait, why the hell? We can't, we can't go to the left there. I've been fooled. That's fine now. Okay, let's just go this way. I assume maybe we'll be able to get over there later. Who knows? Or I'm just stupid and did that incorrectly, but... Uh, Alright, so now we got these boulders here. We have to use strength every time. Why can't I just... It's like if I'm clicking on a rock, obviously I want to use strength. They should just always be on. Why does it want to ask you? Over here we got ourselves a nugget. Nice. So the old gold dunes are uh, living up to the name. Um, we're going to not use a repel this time just to see if we can find anything different in the wild here. Also, might as well train up our little buddy ghost here. It's just a freaking rap pro. And I don't think we have... We have Pursuit, actually. This could probably... You know, protect, really. Pursuit's not going to do much because, obviously, it's not switching out. We have two levels on it, though. So I think this is probably a good place for us to train up Ghost. Uh, it might be useful in the upcoming gym battle as Pursuit does not quite do enough. And I was mummified. What? What is... What does mummified even mean? What do you mean by this, rap pro? And stop protecting. God... <laughs> How do you even protect yourself with that cloth? Okay, two protects in a row? Really? Please just let me kill you. I, at this point, I should run, but I've already invested too much time in this battle. So you're gonna die, sir. Crit, please? No crit. That's okay. Then we can just ice shard you. 
Ominous wind knocks us down a little bit, and jeez, uh, it, it took everything I had to kill this damn Rapro. Would have been much better if you were a hecking ground type, but of course you're not. Okay. So we continue up here. We got another boulder. We'll push you aside, and we don't have strength, so obviously we cannot do much with that water. I mean, freaking only Rapros in here, huh? That's lame. Let's, um, you know what? If that's the case, we're gonna use another super repel because we ain't got the time. There's children to be saved and a gym leader to be found. So, uh, we're just gonna go like that. Oh, would you look at who's over here? Well then, what are you guys doing? Just kissing in the cave, huh? Hello? Hayden, I found Dustin. He's been here in the cave training. He found some Pokemon fossils. Sorry, I wasn't at the gym. I just couldn't resist the urge to uncover these fossils. Tripped over a piece that was poking out of the ground and just had to dig them up. Awesome, right? Be more awesome if you just went to the back of the gym, a bit back to the gym, so we can battle. He's like, yeah, man, get back to your job, buddy. Sorry, I guess we can go back now. But the fossils, I don't want to just leave them. Do you know you can get that you can get Pokemon from these fossils? There's a building in Goldoon City. A scientist named Burke can revive them using a special machine. You guys should take a fossil each and get them revived. Ancient Pokemon revived from a fossil, huh? Okay then, Hayden. Since you're weak, I'll let you choose first. This guy's a dick. All right, so here we have the teeth fossil. Um, and then we have the plate fossil. I feel like teeth fossil sounds way cooler, but I, I'm i going to go plate. Just because I feel like I'm going to go with the opposite of what I would have chosen. Because the last time with the eggs, I apparently chose the wrong one. So <laughs> we're going to take the plate fossil. And that's kind of cool. Well, Dustin, can we go to the gym now? I guess you really do want to battle? Okay, we'll go now. So he's already heading back to the gym. That was actually way quicker than I thought that was going to be. So we're left by ourselves here. But there is still a kid uh, that's around this place that we can that we can save. And we actually, even though we have a repel up, we actually still find a sandster. Because this thing is the same level as us. Um, am I going to be able to run from this thing? I am. You know what? We should probably not have Ghost in front. Because that thing is, uh, you know, let's put Charlotte there, I guess. Ghost, you're kind of weak, buddy. Might need to grind that thing up a little bit before the next gym. Who knows? Anyway, we'll go over this way, and here's where we get to that Pokeball. So it is just a nugget. And uh, where the hell... Where was the kid? We. I feel like I found everything there was to find in this place, but there was no kid. Like, I went in every... Obviously not every area, but where the fuck... Where is this youngster hiding? We'll go back over this way. How did I not look in the right place? Like, it's not. he's not over there. God, making me... Strength gloves made it possible to move boulders around. And then it's a big boulder. But why does it... It said it made it possible to move the boulders around. Why do you gotta ask me again? Like, hello? I don't understand. Okay, um... So we can't start... The only other place to go where the kid would be... Is, uh... By that... Through that water. There's literally... There's nowhere else to find this guy. What What the hell? Okay, well, pretty small cave. And I, I guess that's all there is for us to do here. I, I assume um, we're going to get access to surf here pretty soon. So that could be nice. So I guess that's kind of what we're going to have to do. I think after the gym, um, we'll have to have to head back here and see if we can find that kid. But I did my best, Grandpa. You're going to have to find your kid yourself then, man. Freaking sandstorm out here. Gonna get push another damn boulder. Yes, I would like to. You, why do you have to keep asking me? Sweet Jesus. Okay. Back to our regularly scheduled program. We're gonna head... Might as well, I guess, just take on the gym. Um, training up our little husk pup might not be a bad idea. Oh, I'm going the complete wrong way. I'm all turned around in this desert, man. I'm so thirsty. I can't see a damn thing. There's sand all over my eyes. This is just a hassle. My spider's like, where the fuck are you taking me, buddy? Okay, so we are back. And, uh... Alright, so I guess we could just head right into the gym. Uh, before I do so, actually, I should probably do some grinding. I think I'm going to put Ghost in front. We're going to go get some levels on this little fella right here, just because uh, we could use an extra ice type for this ground gym. So, I'm going to go do a little bit of off-screen grinding, get this pupper in fighting shape, uh, and then we're going to take on the gym. So, we're all healed up, and we're ready to do it. I shall be back. Alright, I'm going to be real with you, Chief. This game takes for ever to grind up, but I finally think that we're at a good point to take on the gym here. Ghost found a pearl, so that's nice. Thank you, buddy. Anyway, uh, so I got Ghost up to level 26, which I think is a good stopping point for this lad. 
We didn't really learn anything too good. We're more of a physical attacker, obviously, with Moxie. Um, but we got Icy Wind, so I guess that's something. But for the most part, we're probably just going to be sticking to Ice Shard. So it could be a little bit better there. But I also got Happy up to level 30. So the mindset there is that we can only bring three Pokemon to uh, the gym battle. So obviously, we, we want to be careful with what we bring. Happy's going to kind of carry the team. We know that being ground types, they probably have rock moves, which we really... I mean, Snake's not going to do much here. Dracula and Charlotte um, don't appreciate rock moves, so if they come at us with that, who knows. But let's go ahead and just take on the gym here. And go ahead and get it started. So Dustin is the gym leader out here in this dusty-ass gym. What's happening? Hello there. This is the gym of Golden City. The leader, Dustin, specializes in ground-type Pokemon. Have to find Dustin in his gym. Should use the quicksand to go deeper into the gym. You know... We get a fresh water. Quicksand seemed like it was going to be way more of a threat to my daily life when I was a child. <laughs> I've never seen quicksand. But man, is that a scary idea. Okay, so we have a little, uh, little pile of quicksand there, it looks like. But we can also go down these stairs, which doesn't, uh, doesn't seem to take us anywhere. So that's a bummer. But let's go ahead and just jump right into this quicksand. If there's anything I know about quicksand, it's that you just jump right into it. So we got ourselves a trainer. And I'm actually hoping that there's a decent amount of trainers here. Um, I, I don't know what level the gym leader is going to be coming at us with, but it could not hurt to grind up a little bit more. He leads off with a Sandster, level 25. See? Okay, this guy's actually kind of scary. Sets up that Sandstream. We'll see how much an Ice Shard does. Probably a decent amount. Um, but the thing about Ghost is that he's just really not defensive at all. He goes for a Dark Matter. And see, that does half damage. A level 25 Sandster. With that Sandstorm, we're not going to be doing too much here. We can at least finish it off with another Ice Shard, but... Man, I also think that um, this thing evolves a really late level, too, so that's going to be kind of tough. We're going to go ahead and boost that attack. And that sand... Man, we just took way too much damage from that. Next is a sand dug. And we... These things are super defensive. We should probably just go into happy. Might not hurt to get a couple more levels on happy, too. Um, I really just don't want to have too much trouble at this gym. But let's just go ahead and bubble beam your damn, damn sand crab. And it doesn't quite knock it out, so... It would be nice if we had a better water move. We only have access to freaking Bubble Beam, which is not too bueno. We'll just kill you with a quick attack. And, uh, man, it's kind of eye-opening. I expected, like, level 22s, but this dude coming at us with level 25s. That's spooky. All right. Well, uh, we should probably heal up Ghost here. It might even be best to just... I mean, we have these regular potions. We'll just use these. But it might be better to even just lead off with Happy, because it seems like... Uh, we'll, we'll at least let Ghost have another have another lead here. But All right, what's happening? We got a Strength Boulder, so I assume we have to push that into ye old Sand. My favorites are Bug-type Pokemon, but there are dual types as well. There sure are, buddy. There sure are. The desert is the place for you if you're looking for dual-type bugs, because he has a Gwurm. Uh, so at least we're not too afraid of Gwurms. We should be, should be able to handle these damn things. We'll just go for a nice little Ice Shard, and it is an easy 2 KO, so... This thing's going to bide, which is fine, because you're just going to die right here. Later, buddy. Gwurm is like the ugliest Pokemon of all time. Okay, so we get that Moxie boost. So depending on what he has next, we could probably just stay in. It's a Sandug. You know what? Let's actually... Let's just stay in here and see how much we can do to this thing. Level 25 Sandug. We have a level on you and a Moxie boost. Ice Shard should hurt. Okay. It doesn't even do half. Now it's going to Infestation, which... I guess isn't that bad. It limits us from switching, but we should be okay here. If we could get a crit, that would be fantastic. Here we go. Crit, calling it. Nope, okay. Never happens when you need it to, damn it. Now you're gonna sand attack. Sand Dug might be the most annoying Pokemon ever. This guy has the ugliest and most annoying Pokemon. Now he's gonna protect. See what I mean? What is this? Why must you do this to me? <laughs> Fucking Sand Dug. Okay, so we get hurt by that infestation. We should be still good, though. Ice Shard's gonna knock you out. All right, Ghost got a little bit more experience there. We're at least getting a lot here. Maybe should have the EXP share on this thing, and then just grinding up with Happy, but I don't know. I think we're okay. I should go back to a forest. Yeah, you should, buddy. You don't belong here. All right, uh, let's just put old Happy Feet in front, and let's push this here boulder. Put on the old strength gloves, and we're gonna push this into the sand and see what happens so it takes for oh man we have to mash a so many damn times oh we're riding it we're just riding the boulder down pioneers is to ride these babies for miles and so this brings us to an area where it looks like we have to actually push it onto the freaking button so that's annoying but 
you know, we're the damn Hulk as soon as we got these strength gloves on. So we'll just mash A for about a fortnight, and now we're good to go. Okay. So it looks like that's just going to open the new area. There is another trainer, though, which we do have to battle. We definitely should be battling everybody anyway, but there's nothing like down and dirty battle. You're damn right, hiker buddy. So at least Happy should have an easier time with these things. He's got a Toron. Nice. I'm really interested to see what this thing evolves into. Now that I think about it, I I'm sure the gym leader has an evolved form of this thing. He's got to, which scares the shit out of me because this thing, I'm sure, evolves into something just super scary. But we knocked that out in one hit. Next is a Sandster. Alright, screw you Sandsters. These things with, with that Sandstream ability is going to be pretty damn annoying, but I think we, we will probably be okay. Just that continual damage every turn. I know something's going to die because of that, and I'm just waiting for it to happen. Geosphere, hurt by the Sandstorm. I mean, it only does like freaking 1 HP damage, but we will finish you with a quick attack, and we're well on our way here. I don't know how big this gym's going to be, but hopefully we're getting close, because my anxiety cannot take it anymore. We need to take on the damn gym leader. We'll head in here, and oh, looks like there's another trainer, so we should probably heal. Let's just go for a regular potion for you, buddy. You're probably good. Uh, we haven't seen any rock moves yet, so I'm really hoping that not a lot of Pokemon have rock moves here, because my team just absolutely hates that, as we've seen. I'm getting destroyed by rollout, but this lady's just got one Pokemon. It's a Sandster at level 26, so that's kind of scary. You know, Bubble Beam and Aurora Beam both have the same damage, and they're both stabbed, so it doesn't really matter which one I use. But, oh, we get a crit there. Um, but, Aurora Beam does have the ability to lower attack stats, so that could actually be super nice for us. Ruins are perfect to hide. They sure are. Do I have a... Uh, what item does Happy have? We've got the Razor Claw. So, increased critical hits, but that doesn't seem to be happening very much. You know what we should do? Um... Don't I have the Mystic Water or something? I have a Ground Gym. Yeah, I have a Mystic Water. You know what? I'm going to give that to Happy instead, so that'll boost our water a little bit. That could be nice. That doesn't really help my case, seeing how I was just talking about how Aurora Beam's better, but... I mean, now we have boosted Bubble Beam, so I guess that's good. And, all right. And we got to push these here bowlers onto both of those, I assume. So we could just go up with this one, and then we could bring this one down and go right. But how do I get the one up to the top then? I think I think I need to push this one all the way right. And then we can push that bottom one. I'm, I'm just probably going to fuck this up somehow. But okay, we'll push this one here. No, I think I did it right. Because now we can just go like this. Boom, boom, boom. And then we bring this bad boy up here. Look at me. Absolute puzzle genius. <laughs> okay, does this take us to the gym leader? Hello? Oh, we're sinking. And it doesn't look like it. Nope, just another hiker over here. What's up, buddy? Where's your gym leader friend at? Here comes a sandstorm. Well, joke's on you, buddy. I've been in a sandstorm for the past freaking day and a half. I'm seasoned in this shit, man. Okay, he's just got a level 25 Toron. We are just going to bubble beam you. As these things always bite, but it's a dumb move because they never get the bite off. You literally... You die too easily to a water move, so you did. Next is another Toron. This guy's got dual Torons. Nice. David, he's a big fan of his Torons. What is Bubble Beam? You should knock you out in one hit. Uh, level 30 is pretty decent. I mean, but Happy just... I would really enjoy getting a damn Water Stone one of these days. If I could evolve, we would be sitting pretty nice. Oh my god, more boulders. How big is this damn place? So it looks like we got to push all these boulders down. So we're going to go ahead and pop on the old Strength Gloves. This is going to take forever. Luckily, we only have to go through this once. But okay. Boom. 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 We'll push that one down. We don't have to ride it down, which is nice. And then we can just go bring this guy. Should probably not fuck this up. Okay, wait. Uh, we'll go like that. And then we'll go down with you. And then, yeah. Okay. Very glad I didn't mess that up because I'd have to restart. Okay. Bring that one down and then just one. Oh. Damn it. That's exactly what I was talking about. I fucked it. <laughs> I messed it up. Okay, but luckily it actually just resets this one. So we don't need to do all of them again, which is nice. But we do have to freaking mash A. My pointer finger is going to be buff after all this shit, man. Use them strength gloves, and then we'll bring you here. Boom. And boom. Don't want to mess this boulder up twice. Okay, we're good, looks like. So I'm assuming we have to put all these on freaking buttons. So we'll ride this one down. 
And bada bing, bada boom. We need to go and mash A some more. So uh, I'm assuming this takes us to the damn gym leader. It's got to. This, this place is freaking massive. Okay, we can move boulders around. I don't know how the hell gloves make that happen, but they do somehow, so we're not going to question it. We the Hulk, as soon as we got them gloves on. Okay, push that one there. Now where's the next ones? So we have one here and one over there. Okay, so we're going to go like this with you. And then I don't want to mess this up. <laughs> really concerned about messing this up for some reason. Okay, looks like we're good with that one and one more to go. Hecking, finally. We'll just go like that, and I think we just bring it down, and we can just go, yep. All the way with you. Yeet, and yeet. All right. Is this going to take us to the gym leader? It does. All right. We got to freaking Dustin. Thank God. And we really need to heal up here before we get started. So, just going to use these regular potions while I've got them. Why not? We'll get you back to full, and we'll use two of these on you. Jesus Christ, didn't even get it back to full. It's probably good enough. It's only missing. <sighs> the thing is now, I just have to waste a full ass super potion. So you know what? Screw it. We're going for it. Um, so we do get to select the three Pokemon we want to bring. Oh, hey, do I know you from somewhere else? Yeah, buddy, I was in a cave with you just not too long ago. How you forget? Ah, yes, you're the trainer from the cave. Welcome to my gym. Glad you made it. So you want to have a battle. You should know that I specialize in ground type Pokemon. I'm aware of this, yes. They're powerful with high attack and defense stats, but normally they're not very the fastest ones. Let's do it. I won't go easy. All right, so as usual, we get to select what we want to bring. I'm kind of thinking about leading off with Ghost. Uh, I do want to conserve Happy as long as possible. It'd be nice if we could get Ghost to kill something at least. So let's lead off with you, and then we'll go Happy. And then as the last slot, we'll probably just bring Dracula. I think because Dracula does have a special attack dark move, Charlotte, I mean... Yeah, just in I mean, I don't know. I feel like that's probably the best way to do it. All right, let's do it. Here comes the ground gym. We got Dustin here hanging out. Sweet hair, buddy. All right, so three Pokemon. What's he going to lead with? He leads with a Cassand in Sweet Jesus. It's an evolved Zoidberg thing. Okay, it's shit, man. It's level 27. Why so high level? Okay, uh, let's try to hit it with... An ice shard just to see how much it's gonna do. I don't even. <laughs> oh my god, it does nothing. Oh shoot, now it's gonna infestation us, which is super annoying because now we're stuck in here. And uh, dude, I don't know how much the damage this thing's gonna be able to do with an attack. Does icy wind? Icy wind will probably do more. I think these things are much more physically defensive. Jeez, it does just a little bit more. We get a speed drop, which really does not matter, and now it's gonna infestation again. Okay. Of course it gets a crit because why wouldn't it? Ghost is already in red health, and we're not looking too good here, boys. Things are not looking... Okay, we do have to super potion. Uh, 50 HP will get you back to full. So... Oh, he's switching out. He's going into Orichur. What the fuck is that thing? Okay, that's gotta be the evolved form of Tauron. Look at this dino boy. Okay, infestation goes away, I think, because he switched out. So we can now switch into Happy. I'm afraid of this thing. There's gotta be a reason why he switched it in. I'm sure... Oh, Jesus, it has rollout. And another crit. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, maybe Bubble Beam knocks this thing out. We're three levels higher with that Mystic Water. Can we get a Bubble Beam boost? Enough to kill it. Oh, dude, that critical hit really got me fucked up. Okay, so if the next one isn't a crit, I think we can actually live it. Let's go for a Bubble Beam. Oh, my Jesus, it's faster. We live it with 17 HP, though. We good. And the Bubble Beam does knock it out in one hit. <laughs> yes. Orichur, you're scary. Okay, my god. Well, Ghost grows to level 27. And Happy grows to 20 or 31, I mean. So, next he's going to go back into that Cassand. We're actually just going to stay in here because we know that Husk Pup can do shit against that thing. And we have to use, actually, a Lemonade here to get back to full. Heal us by 80. Perfect. So, we'll get Happy back up to full. Looks like this thing just likes to go for Infestation. It's actually just quicksand, okay? I've not seen that before. It's apparently a continual damage move, which is stupid. But uh, let's just go for another bubble beam here. I feel like that's our best bet. Doesn't quite knock it out. He probably has freaking potions, too. It's going to go for an iron defense. You dickhead. Okay. Um, 
The quicksand's hurting us a little bit, but I think we're good because this thing doesn't ha seem to have much offensive power. It's just kind of annoying with that like continual damage. Let's just go for another bubble beam here. Yep, there's the super potion. Dustin, you dickhead. Luckily, uh, it doesn't get him back to full because it's just a super, so that's nice. And uh, we can finish this thing off with a quick attack here. Although, you know what? It would be really nice to actually to end this matchup with full health. Maybe I should try to heal here. Let's, that's what we're going to do. Okay, let's go for a super potion. We're going to get you nice and healthy here, buddy. Hopefully you iron defense, please. Another super potion? Dude. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so Dustin apparently likes to use his super potions. We've seen... I wonder how many he has. Well, we're just going to bubble beam you again. Please, max damage. Kill. Okay, not quite. He's just going to go for another quicksand. And it's looking like we're probably... I would... I mean, shit. So if his two... This thing's level 27. His ace is probably around level 30. Maybe even higher. I don't even know. Probably level 30. 29, 30? Hmm. I think we should go for a potion here. That's what we're going to do. We have enough super potions. I have 13 of these bad boys. Actually, we'll just go for a fresh water. Um, yeah, I think it's just safer to just go for this, just to kind of scout out what happens here. If he uses a potion, that's fine. Nope, he's just going to stay in. Goes for another quicksand. Uh, that's actually good. So we get freed from the, from the quicksand there. Now we can just go ahead and kill you with a quick attack. Fuck yo, quicksand. We got quick attack, buddy. And that knocks that thing out. So two down. We have not lost anybody. But now it is time to see what he's working with now. It is a monsoon. I have no idea what that thing is, but I feel like it's got to be safest just to stay in here. There's no way that Ghost could probably do very much to it. Let's just stay in. It's all coming down to you, Hap. Oh my god. It looks like a sand muck. Wow. Okay, he's got a little squiggly on his head. Get hypnotized by that shit. So it's level 29. So that's actually good. We got, we got a couple levels on you. Um, we're just going to go right for a bubble beam and just see how much we can do here. It's actually faster than us. It goes for a Geosphere. Oh my god, that does so much damage. We get a crit, though. Knocks it down to half. Okay. Oh, uh, shit, man. It's got that Sandstorm. Oh, dude, this is going to be bad. That Geosphere did too much. Did way too much. Ooh, and we actually need to use... I have one Lemonade left. I also have a Full Restore. I have three Hyper Potions as well. Uh, we have energy powders and shit, man. You know what? I'm just going to use, oh, does that, I... we're going to have to hyper potion here. Dude, if, I... if Happy dies here, I'm going to be pissed off. It's going to go for a quicksand this time. Okay, that's actually great. That's great. Because now, oh wait, no, that's actually not that great. But I think we can live another Geosphere and I'm... Does, does Bubble Beam knock this thing out? We're going for it. Kamikaze up in this big. Goes for a dark matter this time. We live it with 17 HP, please, please kill. No, oh, we lives it with like one HP. Oh, it has a Ganlin Berry. No, 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 no. Knocks us down to 12 and then, oh my God, two HP. <laughs> Look at this, it has, it has like one or two HP. I'm down to two HP. I literally thought I was about to die there. He is probably gonna super potion himself. So you know what, we're gonna hyper potion. We have to get back to full here. I really hope he ran out of potions. Please don't, don't potion, don't potion. <gasps> he didn't potion. Yes. Okay, that dark matter does over half, but check this out, boys. We can take that, and then we can finish it off with a quick attack. As long as I make sure I click the right thing. Yes, we get the quick attack off, and it's gonna knock out the monster. My God. That actually could have been super, super bad because I don't think we had much to even hurt that thing. My god, we're gonna grow to level 20 or 32 off of that. I'm dyslexic. Whew. And Leader Dustin has been defeated. I'm stuck in the quicksand. You sure are, buddy. You get a whole bunch of money. That was awesome. I can tell you're gonna go far on your journey. You have earned this. I'm so glad that I trained up happy to where I did. We get ourselves the sand badge like a boss. So, Jesus, that was intense. Awesome, huh? Oh, and you get this. And we get TM60 for quicksand, which might actually good for, be good for our, uh, our new fiery ground boy. It's an attack that can trap foes in the sand and hurt them every turn. Good luck with everything. Make sure your adventure is awesome. Thanks, buddy. Well, guys, that was... That was like having sex at a campsite. Intense. But <laughs> let's go ahead and get the hell out of here. But, um... Wait, what the... What, wait, I went the wrong... We need to go down this way. 
All right, guys, we're going to end the episode here. Next time, we're going to, I guess, just get out of the city and see what else is waiting for us. So thank you so much for, like, for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button on this video if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.